There are many software solutions on the market for display signage systems, and here at Yama International we are not standing still. Our brand new CMS or Content Management System IA Signage 2 is an advanced and professional solution to control your Yama display signage screens. IA Signage 2 is a cloud-based CMS software, which means you can control your screens from anywhere using the internet connection. In this video I will show you how to add your screens to the CMS cloud and bring them all together on one simple web page, how to add different content to each of them and make sure it is running properly by schedule. And before we get started with the how-to part of this video, please make sure your screen is supported by Signage 2 software, because not all Yama displays have the suitable CMS application pre-installed. You can check this on our website yama.com in the description for each model. First of all, let me show you how to register a new account on the system. From your web browser, go to yama-cms.com website. On this page, click on Create New Account button. Fill in this form. Create your unique login ID, your password. Here, your email address. Click on Verify button. You will get a verification code on your email box. This code you need to input here. And create a unique organization name for your account. After you click on Confirm button, all fields will be checked. And if your login ID, your email address and your organization name is not used on the system yet, uh, your account will be successfully created. In case you will need to reset your password in future, you can do it here. Click on Forgot Password, fill in your email address, verification code, and create a new password from here. Now let's log into the system. This is a home page of IA Signage 2, and here we can get an overview on our system and all our screens connected to it. And in my case, as you can see, I don't have any screens yet. Let's add one. Let's go to Personal Center. And on this page, we need to check Institution ID right here on top. This is unique ID for each account, and this a number we need to add to screen itself to connect it to the CMS. Uh, so let me show you how it's done on the screen itself. Enter the server config menu and input your four digits number here. Also check that the server address is yama-cms.com in the field below. Server address. You can also create a name for your screen and add it here in terminal name field. In my case, it's the model name of the screen I have, LH4354. If all info is correct, the screen will be added automatically to the CMS site. And you can see it on the home page here, we have one screen online, and on the terminal settings page, terminal management, terminal settings. Here is our LH4354 with the online status. Now after screen is connected to the CMS server, we need to add content to the system, which we can publish to the screen later on. From home page of ISNH2, let's go to Resource Management and Material Management. Here on the left side, we can see different categories of content which we can add to the cloud and use to run on our screens. Picture, videos, audio files, Microsoft Office files, PDF, etc. Let me add some files here. Picture, upload. I have some images prepared. 
also video. In the small windows here on, on the right, we also can check the status of uploading files. We also can add the URL address of any web page we want to show on our screens from here, web page. New web page. Let's add yama.com. Okay, now after we uploaded some content to the server, we can combine it in a program and publish it to our screens. Let me show you how. Go to Content Management Program Production. Click on the new program to create one. Fill in the program name and choose a preset scale depending on how your screen is installed in landscape or in portrait mode. In my case, it's in, port in the landscape mode. After you click on the confirm button, you will get to this page. There you can create a layout for your content, set a video and images in a specific order, or add a web page to your screen. Let's start with a simple slideshow. Click on the picture button and select the images you want to show. As you might notice, only preloaded files are available here, but we can also add more by pressing the upload button. Supported file types also listed here. I will select all of these pictures. Select all, press OK. You can adjust switching time and order of your pictures in the slideshow here by simple drag and drop. Let's take this one on as a first image. To check how it will be look like, click on the preview button. And because switching time is 5 seconds, every 5 seconds it's changing uh, to the next uh, image in the slideshow. I'm pretty happy with the result here, so uh, let's go to the next step. Next step. In release settings, we need to set up a schedule for our program. What days of the week and what time the slideshow should be running on the screen. By default, content will be playing 24 hours a day on ticket weekdays. And if we want to set specific days and time, it is possible to customize here by pressing the customize button. Here we can choose start date and end date and also uh, customize the specific time of playing this slideshow here. Or add a different period of times when we want our content running on the screen. In my case, I will be using the default mode and let's choose the all seven days. In next step, we can assign our program to a screen or to several screens at the same time. Here is our LH. 4354 screen. Last check of our program on the server side. And after pressing the pause button, the content will be sent to the screen. And here how it looks like on the screen itself. We can create another program from the scratch with different content, but let me show you how to edit an already existing one. This can be done from Program Management menu, where all the programs are stored. Content Management, Program Management, and we are already here, we have only one program. And to edit our program 1 to 3, I press Revise button here on the right. I already have pictures in the slideshow, and it's running on my screen. And now I want to add to the layout a video clip and the yama.com website. From here, I can add a video file, which I already pre-uploaded pre before. 
let me move it on the right side like this and from here i can add a url which i also created previously let's align it here and put it one next to each other this is all i want to do with uh this program right now and we need to go through the same steps as earlier to publish our program on the screen. So I just press the next step. I keep the same default schedule and release settings. Okay, next. I choose our screen. And pass. Here is our screen. As you can see, it's uploading the files. Let's skip a bit to the ending of, of the downloading of the files. And now we have the slideshow and the video and the website at the same time on the screen working all together. Let's go back to our server side. Now, after we revised our program, we have two copies of the same program. It also keeps the creation time here and date. Different programs also can be combined in one plan. Let's go to content management, play plan menu. From here, I can add a new plan and assign different programs I met earlier to specific time frames. I press that button. I create the name for this plan. Let's call it plan one. Click to the add show. Here we have all our programs. We have right now only two programs with the slideshow and the video and the website. We also can press the preview button to see what's inside our program, how it looks like. So I choose the first one and I want to have it played from 8 till 1 o'clock. I can also change the time here with until 12. Then I add another program here with our slideshow. with the slider till 8 o'clock. Now we want to avoid the overlap from 12 till 8 o'clock. By default, this works the whole week, seven days per week. But we also can customize this plan and assign it for the particular period of time. Let's say from tomorrow till the end of the May. And I want to have it on the working days only. Next step. Here we also need to assign this plan to the particular screen of what we want here. Nice. And now it's already assigned. Right now on our screen is playing the first uh, program with the video and the website. Let's go back to the server side. Now after we got familiar with the content management part of iSignage 2, let me show you how we can check the status of each screen and adjust some settings remotely. It can be done from Terminal Management Terminal Settings menu. All devices are listed here, and by the icon we can understand if the screen is online or not. Every unit can be recognized by its name, MAC address and local API address. In Entry Time field, we can check when each screen was added to the system. This can be useful in case you want to know if the screen is still under warranty, for example, or when it was deployed and added to the CMS. 
If export all information button, we can easily get an Excel spreadsheet with all this data and some more details. If you want to create a group to combine several screens together, it can be done from here. My organization, my subgroup, new group. Let's create one. And from terminal settings, every skin can be assigned to a specific group. It will be very helpful to publish content and control screens in large deployments. Let's go to terminal settings here. Move to the group. Determine. Let's check. So now in group 1 to 3 we have our screen LH 4354. Now let's go back to terminal settings again and take a look what else is possible to set up remotely. From here we can reboot the screen, can change the volume on it, we can change the orientation of the screen between the portrait and the landscape mode, we can change the brightness, etc. From strategy menu timing strategy. We can set up a scheduler for the screen when it goes on and off in the particular days of the week and the time. Timing screen capture function allow us to make snapshots every minute or hour or at a specific time of the day. Let's go to the program menu of the terminal settings of the screen. Here on the right we can see what programs are assigned to this screen and we also can get a screenshot what is running right now on the screen. As a conclusion I want to say that CMS ISINH2 from Yama is a new and easy way to create and showcase any content across your screens with additional tools to control and maintain them. With ISINH2 you are in control.